sharp stabbing chest pain that comes and goes causes and treatment experiencing an intermittent stabbing pain in the chest can be worrying but there are many possible causes of this type of chest pain although some can be serious and even life threatening others are benign certain factors can help determine the cause of stabbing chest pain this include the exact location of the pain its severity and whether other symptoms are present in this video we outline some of the possible causes of intermittent stabbing chest pain along with their associated symptoms and treatments we also provide tips on how to prevent certain causes of chest pain and explain when to see a doctor heart attack a heart attack is a severe shortage or complete blockage of blood flow to the heart muscle a heart attack may cause a dull crushing or stabbing pain in the chest the pain may occur in the center of the chest or just left of the center it may radiate out to out to other areas of the body such as the area between the shoulder blades the left arm the neck the jaw other possible symptoms of a heart attack include tightness or pressure in the chest sweating sudden nausea or vomiting feelings of dread heart attack pain generally comes on over the course of a few minutes and last longer than several minutes it may also go away and then return a heart attack is a medical emergency anyone who suspects that they or someone else is experiencing a heart attack should contact the emergency services immediately even people with no prior warning signs of heart disease should seek medical attention the centers for disease control and prevention note that a heart attack can be the first sign of heart disease that a person experiences treatment the treatment for a heart attack depends on its cause and severity medications can reduce and prevent blood clot formation but some people may require surgery to widen the coronary artery or divert blood flow away from a blocked or narrowed section heartburn heartburn is chest pain that occurs when stomach acid leaks out of the stomach and back up into the esophagus or food pipe the esophagus is the tube that connects the mouth and stomach people typically experience heartburn as a sharp or burning pain in the center of the chest the pain may radiate up to the neck heartburn may occur alongside additional symptoms such as upset stomach partially regurgitate regurgitating food feelings of fullness or bloating excess gas and burping a sore taste in the mouth especially after burping treatment occasional heartburn is not usually a cause for concern however recurrent heartburn may be a sign of gastroesophageal reflux disease in people with gastroesophageal reflux disease stomach acid frequently leaks into the esophagus causing repeated bouts of pain discomfort or irritation some people may require over the counter or prescription medications to help manage their heartburn some examples include antacids h2 blockers proton pump inhibitors medications to help the stomach empty faster pericarditis pericarditis is the inflammation of the pericardium which is a thin membrane of tissue surrounding the heart pericarditis causes a sharp sudden pain in the center of the center or left side of the chest that tends to worsen when a person breathes deeply the pain may also worsen when a person is lying down but it often gets better when they get up or lean forward other possible symptoms of pericarditis include chest pressure heart palpitations difficulty breathing 
weakness, general fatigue, mild fever, swelling in the legs or abdomen. Treatment A doctor may recommend taking an over the counter anti inflammatory medication such as ibuprofen or aspirin. If the condition has a bacterial cause, a doctor may, may also prescribe a course of antibiotics. Angina Angina is chest pain that occurs as a result of reduced blood flow to the heart. It is a symptom of an underlying heart issue rather than a disease in itself. Angina typically causes pain, pressure or squeezing sensations in the chest. These sensations may radiate out to the following parts of the body, the back, the shoulders or arms, the neck, the jaw. The chest pain often occurs in response to physical exertion or stress and typically goes away within a few minutes of resting. Other possible signs of angina include pain in the lower chest or abdomen, nausea, breathlessness, fatigue. Angina can mimic the symptoms of a heart attack. Anyone experiencing a bout of angina should contact a doctor who will determine whether emergency treatment is necessary. Treatment A doctor may prescribe the medication nitroglycerin to lessen the symptoms of an episode of angina. If the initial dose does not work within 5 minutes, a person should take a second dose. If the second dose is also ineffective after 5 minutes, a person should phone the emergency services as they may be experiencing a heart attack. Doctors may prescribe certain medications to help prevent further episodes of angina as well as heart attacks and strokes. Examples of such medications include beta blockers to make the heart beat slowly and less forcefully calcium channel blockers to increase the blood supply to the heart, low-dose asp aspirin to prevent blood clots, statins to lower cholesterol levels, angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE inhibitors to lower blood pressure. Precordial Catch Syndrome Precordial Catch Syndrome is a harmless condition that primarily affects children and young adults. Precordial catch syndrome causes very brief moments of sharp pain on the left side of the chest. The pain may worsen when the person breathes in. Precordial catch syndrome pain typically comes on when a person is at rest or shifting positions. The pain usually lasts only a few seconds to a few minutes. Once gone, it leaves no lasting symptoms. The cause of precordial catch syndrome is unknown. However, experts believe that it may be due to a spasm of the intercostal muscles that sit between the ribs. These spasms may pinch nearby nerves, causing pain. Treatment Precordial catch syndrome typically does not require treatment and it causes no negative health effects. Panic attacks A panic attack is a feeling of intense fear. A stressful event may trigger or it or it might come on unexpectedly. According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, a panic attack includes at least four of the following symptoms chest pain or discomfort, palpitations or accelerated heart rate, the feeling of choking or being smoothered, feeling short of breath, feeling unusually hot or cold, sweating, trembling or shaking, sensations of numbness or tingling, feeling dizzy or lightheaded, stomach discomfort, nausea, feelings of dread, fear of losing control, fear of dying. The National Institute of Men Mental Health note that the symptoms come on very quickly, reaching their peak within minutes. Treatment The following tips can help a person remain calm when they feel a panic attack coming on. 
trying not to fight the panic attack not to fight the panic attack remembering that the panic attack will pass remembering that the panic attack is not life threatening breathing slowly and deeply focusing on positive peaceful and relaxing images strains and fractures a sharp stabbing pain in the chest could be a sign of an injury such as a strained chest muscle or a fractured rib bone either type of injury could cause a sharp sudden pain at the site of the damage some possible causes of chest injury include lifting weights or other heavy objects incorrectly and overly strenuous chest workout an accident treatment the treatment for a strained chest muscle is the same as that for any other type of muscle strain it involves resting icing compressing and elevating the affected area this approach is known as the rice method a broken or bruised rib usually heals on its own within 3 to 6 weeks in the meantime a person can take over the counter pain relievers to alleviate pain pleuritis pleuritis or pleurisy is the inflammation and irritation of the lining of the lungs and chest the condition can cause brief sharp chest pain during bodily movements such as breathing coughing sneezing pleuritis can occur as a result of the following bacterial or viral infections rheumatoid arthritis a blocked artery in the lungs a collapsed lung growths in the pleural cavity between the lungs treatment the treatment for pleuritis depends on the underlying cause some potential treatment options include antibiotics to treat bacterial causes surgery to fix a collapsed lung or remove growths from the pleural cavity medications to stop existing blood clots from getting bigger and prevent new clots from forming prevention it may not always be possible to prevent some causes of chest pain however people can take steps to reduce the risk of chest pain due to heart disease The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention provide the following tips for reducing the risk of heart disease. Quitting smoking if applicable. Engaging in regular exercise. Eating a well-balanced and varied diet. Reaching or maintaining a moderate weight. Controlling blood pressure and cholesterol. Managing any underlying health conditions. When to see a doctor? A person should see a doctor if they experience repeat episodes of chest pain regardless of whether other symptoms are present recurrent bouts of chest pain may indicate an underlying health issue such as a problem with the heart or lungs a person should phone the emergency services if they experience any of the symptoms of a heart attack or have an episode of angina that persist for 5 minutes or more following a second dose of angina medication